I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Winter Haven. I'm Quinn, and you're watching BDTV for Tuesday, September 22nd, 2021. September is National Suicide Prevention Month. Remember, you need to take care of yourself, make mental wellness a priority. Call 1-800-273-TALK at any time if you need someone to talk to. Coming up on today's show, Swim Team and WHHS Trivia. I'm Izzy. And I'm Victoria. Let's get into the announcements. Students, you can pre-order your yearbook now. The yearbooks are $60 until September 30th. Then the prices go up to $70. Order online with a credit card at buytheyearbook.com or pay cash or check only to Dr. Jaime before or after school. The Culture Connection Club will meet with Miss Walden in room 36, 225 on Wednesdays from 155 to 230. If you are interested, come on down. Congratulations to JROTC for finishing first in the first Raiders competition of the year. Way to go and keep up the great work. The Polk Training Center in Lake Alfred needs volunteers on Saturday, October 2nd and 9th for their plant sale at from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Come on down to 111 Creek Road, Lake Alfred. Volunteers should bring water and a snack. And now to Dominic with some very important information. Look. We need to talk. There's a new trend going around where people are vandalizing the school, and that's not okay. And you're supposed to take pride in your school, not vandalize it. On top of that, you will be charged, and the police will even come and get you if you're caught doing anything that involves vandalism or theft in the school. This TikTok trend really isn't that funny. At the end of the day, it harms the school, but it also harms your peers. Without soap, how are you supposed to wash your hands? And I know the people stealing soap dispensers definitely don't wash after they use the bathroom. You're nasty. In the words of Grady Judd, this is not a childish mistake. This is high school kids doing an organized criminal act and they're going to be held appropriately accountable. Well, I know I hope that Dominic's going to the homecoming parade. Speaking of the homecoming parade, the annual homecoming parade and festival is back. The Winter Haven Key Club is inviting everyone to this year's parade. It will take place October 13th at 5.15 p.m. from Denison Stadium and ends at Lake Silver Martin Luther King Jr. Park, where there will be festival food, trucks, ski show games, and fireworks. Contact Mr. Brown for more information. You know, I also think the swim team is going to have a float in the parade. Did you know that Winter Haven High School has an award-winning swim and dive team? I'm Quinn with BDTV. Let's find out more about our swim and dive team. Why did you join the swim team? I joined the swim team because of Coach Edwards. She was my teacher at my old school and was very persistent in getting me to join, and I caved. What's your favorite part about being on the swim team? My favorite part about being on the swim team is, of course, the meets, but I also like seeing my times get faster over practice times and upcoming meets. Uh, definitely the meets. The swim meets. The meets. What made you want to become a swim coach? Well, my swimming career started uh, when I was five years old. Um, I swam through high school, um, went on to swim for the University of Florida. Um, I actually started training for the Olympics when I was 11. Um, but my freshman year, uh, I was diagnosed with lymphoma, so that kind of ended my swimming career. And the next best thing for me was actually coaching. Um, I enjoy, you know, teaching kids how to swim. That's definitely my passion. Um, you know, setting goals, breaking those goals, and just watching the athletes out on that pool deck. Um, just brings back a lot of memories for me, um, and I definitely enjoy it. Did you know that our swim and dive team has had divers qualify for states four years in a row? I'm Quinn the BDTV. Maybe you should try out the swim team, Winter Haven. 
I know Anderson's on the swim team. Oh, speaking of which, congratulations goes out to Anderson Garner and Edward Cavagion, who both met the requirements to enter the 2022 National Merit Scholarship Program. These high performers have shown outstanding academic potential. Congratulations. Underclassmen Picture Day is today. Students will be photographed during their English classes. See your English teacher for an order form. Once completed, they will be turned into the photographer. On Saturday, on October 16th, we are having a Winter Haven High School Seasons Homecoming Dance. It's going to be held inside the cafeteria and outside the patio from 7 to 10 p.m. Pre-sold tickets will be $15 and they will be no sales at the gate. Only 11th and 12th grader students are able to come. You will need to show your ID and you will not be permitted to come back if you leave. Congratulations to Mr. Dollison for being Teacher of the Year for Winter Haven High School. Another congratulations is to Ms. Sia for being School Related Employee of the Year for Winter Haven. Homecoming Spirit Week is coming up October 11th through the 15th. This year's theme is Seasons. The Spirit Day dress up days are Monday, favorite movie character, Tuesday, favorite teacher, Wednesday, cowboys and aliens, Thursday, class theme, freshman is spring, sophomores are summer, juniors, autumn, seniors, winter, and Friday is blue and gold day. More information is to come. And you know, those themes sound really fun. You know what else is fun? Trivia games. Good morning, Winter Haven. Today we will be seeing how much our students know about Winter Haven High School. I will be asking them a couple of Winter Haven High School trivia questions to see who knows the most. Today competing, we have Nicholas Garvey, yeah! Dominic Velasquez, yeah! and Skylar McCullough. Yeah! Now, without further ado, let's get into the competition. When was Winter Haven High School established? Dominic. 2007. Winter Haven was established in 1886. So Winter Haven's been here since before World War I. What international program is offered at Winter Haven High School? Nicholas. Cambridge. What former baseball player at Winter Haven High School now plays for the Baltimore Orioles? Trey Mancini. What other school in Polk County is the rival of Winter Haven? Dom. Auburndale. What is the name of the marching band at Winter Haven High School? Dong. The marching band. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nicholas. The pride of Winter Haven. Correct. So that leaves us with Nicholas as our winner. Yeah! <laughs> so that concludes today's episode of Winter Haven Trivia. It's really important that we remember the history of our high school so we can fully appreciate how far we've come along. I hope that you learned something new about our school today. This has been Izzy with BDTV. Make sure you appreciate our school. That was awesome, Izzy. You know what else is awesome? Mu Alpha Theta. Students who are interested in joining Mu Alpha Theta, the Math Honor Society, should pick up an application form from Ms. Herb's classroom in 36212. Applications are due September 24th. The new scholarship bulletin is out for the month of September. All teachers have a copy and it can be found on the school's website. Congratulations to the cross country team for another amazing race. Saturday, Bella Blind and Christian Vasquez medaled in the top 20s and the boys team finished fifth out of 27 teams. Way to go. September 15th to October 15th is Hispanic Heritage Month. To recognize the achievements and contributions of Hispanic American champions who have inspired others to achieve success. Mexican Independence Day is on the evening of September 15th with El Grito de Dolores. The celebration continues on the 18th, on the 16th as well. And now to Bella and Alex for the word of the day. Hola, did you know that today is the fifth day of Hispanic Heritage Month? Si. I wonder what the word of the day is. Leon, which means? Lion. Yo tengo mucho miedo de los leones. Me too. <laughs> That is all for today, Winter Haven. I'm Bella with BDTV. Have a great day. Did you know that anxiety disorders are the most common mental illness affecting 40 million adults or 18.1% of the U.S. population? Anxiety disorders are highly treatable, but only 36.9% are treated. Did you know that if you were put into a room with 100 Winter Haven students, 20% of those students would have anxiety? 
Nowadays, the leading causes of death for students between the ages of 10 and 19 is suicide. How can we help prevent this and what can we do to help? September is Suicide Prevention Month. This month is all about recognizing the signs and finding ways to help prevent them and not being ashamed of them. Let's work together to bring those percentages down. Be nice to everyone because they matter just as you do. I'm Kendall with BDTV, and remember, there's always someone here at Winter Haven to talk to, and if not, you can always call 800-273-8255.